record on this computer. Okay, everybody, this is Grant. Um, as you know, we're trying to bring as much useful, uh, helpful information as possible. I've got Adam from Spark Bookkeeping. And if you guys have been paying attention to at all to what Adam's doing, not just in the Spark universe, but he's been touching a lot of clients and helping a lot of clients with his remote teams for a long time. Um, and so he's, he's in the field right now doing that, but then you know he's done his other businesses and supports all kinds of little teams. So we're gonna get into taxes and bookkeeping as some of these videos unfold, but today actually, we're gonna talk really quickly um, just what Adam is experiencing putting together an ad hoc team for himself, but as he helps people with bookkeeping, he's also encountering clients going, hey, what are you doing because I need help and putting together ad hoc remote teams. So Adam, question to you, what are some of the uh, catches or hangups that people are seeing um, as they're trying to put together remote teams? And then how have you seen them kind of bridge that? So what's going on with putting together virtual teams? And how are yeah. you seeing people uh, solve that? Okay, so there's two things that I've, I've noticed so far is that um, there's one about cash flow and about the support that you can get from Small Business Administration, from the IRS, deferral of payments, um, you know, grants for payroll, things like that. So the, th the thing that will help you get those things very quickly is just getting your record keeping up to date and making ah. sure that you've, you've got everything, you know, done in, in your, in your books and that, that you're not, uh, you know, sending in information that's going to get rejected. And so yeah. there are formats for those, you know, you kind of need a couple of years of data. Um, but just make sure you get that and you can either get your tax returns without, even if you don't have QuickBooks. Um, but as long as you get, you know, current, um, P and L for the year, um, that will help you in your, in your filing for the SBA. Um, mm. there's other resources for filing with the IRS and they're releasing those. The forms are not out yet. They come out this week. Um, so the guidelines for, for getting funding for some payroll assistance, um, or even just some grants, um, um, they are not, uh, they're not out yet, but as soon as they are, we're going to release those. And about uh, that real quick, quick question yeah. on that. Um, just in terms of a definition of payroll assistance, is this like in, as, are you guys expecting like this to be an actual cash grant to pay payroll or is it assistance in filing payroll? Like there's no, no. So there's a, there's two options that I'm aware of, uh, is one is a grant for payroll that doesn't have to be paid back. Um, oh. and we're going to post the link on where you can get that and how you qualify for it. Depends on how, how the size of your business is. Um, wow. the employees have to fit it within a certain, uh, category um, and then the other one is about um, loans for payroll that that have to be paid back but they the payroll that you're paying out will have no payroll taxes attached to it so if you pay somebody you know normally if you're paying somebody a thousand you'll have to pay a thousand and some change with that that payroll tax this mm. is a thousand dollars you know basically net pay um, with no payroll tax on that. Wow, um, that's interesting. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, um, so there's some information coming out about that this week. Um, okay. The second thing we're seeing is just how to how to get things going as a team remotely, um, and what can we use to stay you know stay productive and stay organized. Uh, but there's so many so many cloud tools out there. Um, you know, there's some related specifically to bookkeeping and accounting. There's some related to just communication and document mm -hmm. file sharing. Uh, right now, our, our bread and butter is uh, Google's G Suite um, and just making sure that everybody knows what's going in there uh, using mm -hmm. Slack as a communication tool. Um, we've consolidated all inbound and outbound emails into one Gmail account right now. It's just so that mm -hmm. one person's managing that and sharing with the group what comes in, what comes in and out for requests and things like that. Um, mm. uh, so the other thing is even, you know, if you want to get really specific, you know, there's tools that can help you approve bills. If you need to, you know, add bills to QuickBooks and the manager wants to approve them, but the bookkeeper or the accountant's going to send out the, the check, um, and you want to manage your cash flow, which is a really important thing to do right now. Um, so this is making sure that like any payments you would normally be paying out, like on autopilot, not thinking about it, just get like kind of stop gapped filtered and decided that's the bill we're going to pay. Is that what you mean? Um, I mean, if you have those recurring bills, um, first, some of them are being deferred, like utilities, um, sometimes are being deferred for months. Um, uh, internet, they might be able to work with you on that as well. Um, 
Mm. Um, and I know some people just are asking every, their landlord and their lease holder to just postpone this for two months. Yeah. Um, and so there's some of those bills that might just be on pause, but anything that anything new that comes in, um, if you have an approval process and if you're really trying to stick to that, and not break any kind of protocol, um, you can implement something like bill.com uh, within a couple of days. If uh, you get, if we kind of swarm on that, you get it done. Um, oh, cool. You can, re you can approve all of those new bills or deny them from your mobile device. Uh, you'll see a copy of the bill. And so that's a tool we've been using for a while, but it seems to uh, be more important when you can't actually get to the office, when you can't, if you are quarantined and you are trying to manage your cash flow. Um, Interesting. You, know, you can just immediately reject a bill right there. Um, so the other thing is um, uh, there's a service. I don't know uh, if they've had any slowdowns, but there's a service that if you start routing all of your mail, to it, they'll scan every single thing that comes into your mailbox. Oh, wow. I think it's called Earthlink. Um, and if you called the, the post office company right now and said, hey, none of us, nobody's at my office getting mail right now, you know, forward it to my, my new post office. They have one for Florida residents, they have one in Tampa and Orlando. Yeah. And right now, they would be, um, they can take in all of your mail, scan it for you to the cloud, they can also do remote deposits uh, for checks. And so they really? can, connect, yeah, they're connecting, uh, they're connecting their check scanning, depositing technology to your bank. Um, wow. And so eliminating some of that in-person admin work that you would normally do. Um, yeah, because people are always talking about automation, always. And of course, this is the digitization wave being forced on us right now, you know, as we're cutting labor costs and stuff. People are going, well, shit, I should have been automating some of the stuff anyway. Yeah. Um, do you have a rough idea of like what that mail routing scanning would cost? I mean, I can look it up. but I think it starts $50 a month, I think, for couple hundred documents a couple hundred documents a, a month which I think is a really good price um, that's great and so you know the thing is like I said there, there's a ton of resources mm -hmm. and so you know the best thing is to just kind of say okay what problem are you trying to solve and yep. uh, when it comes to working with teams the thing that I have found to work for us is agree on a process even if it's yeah. not the best one just agree on it you know put it in slack we're gonna do it this way and you know, find out what, what, what's wrong with it down the road, but like just get it done so that we know what to expect. If, if I ask somebody to duplicate something three times and I know it's inefficient, yeah, but I know that it, for now that's the thing we're going to do. Um, I can good. expect it uh, to be inefficient, but I know what it's going to, what, what the, where the data is going to be. So that's good. That's good. I really appreciate that, man. Um, so, I mean, what I heard was, you know, at first, like there's two major concepts. The one is there's a lot of resources coming out just as an update. So there's payroll assistance, there's loans for payrolls that do have to be paid back. The payroll assistant grant doesn't, but the loans will, but they'll have no payroll tax. That's going to come out later this week. Sidebar on that. Um, will we, will we have a blog for that on your website or on your social? Where do you want people to check that out? Um, yeah, just on sparkmybooks.com. Okay. Uh, will update the, uh, the forms required that the IRS is sending out. That's great. Yeah. And to your point on that, um, being organized is the most important thing. So if you're watching, talk to Adam, we'll, we'll have links and all this stuff for this in the comments below. But like, if you're disorganized, Marissa was looking at the, uh, the mortgage assistance or the mortgage deferment with our mortgage company, because we want to give our renter a break. The only way to do that is to get our own break on the mortgage assistance. And they're asking for 24 months of payroll and all this sort of stuff. So yeah, absolutely organized. And then you summarized a few quick tools, which I won't necessarily drill down into here. I will in the text of the blog, but the point there is there's a lot of good tools out there. Yes. But whatever you decide on the main summary is choose one operationally, solve it, an actual problem, focus on that problem, and then agree to it and run it for 30 days and, and just get the benefit of that. You can iterate later. You can pick another one later. Yeah. Okay. The worst thing I to do is sure. keep changing and keep changing and keep changing. That's yeah. like the worst thing to do. And um, you and me are guilty of that in our lifetime. I know you and I know me and we're guilty of that big time. Well, like, oh, this is shiny. This is cool. Let's change. Yeah. 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 So just <laughs> it's been the last six months has just been us digging our heels into services that, you know, maybe aren't, aren't our best uh, place to spend our time, but we've sure. got to, we've got to just dig our heels in and, and, 
and just do it Amen. and know that, you know, this is a foundation we're laying for another service that's coming on board. And, uh, so awesome. Just, yeah. Just stick to something for a while. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll check in with Adam again to everyone watching and he's going to have way more updates, especially once we hear about some of these money things and the bookkeeping things we'll check in. But Adam is also brilliant on solving problems in a very micronic way with either an automation or an efficiency. So we'll be checking back with Adam. Adam, thanks, man. Thanks for your time. Give us a buzz if you need anything, dude. We'll sign off here. And uh, thanks everyone for checking in. Check back later for updates on how to recover quickly.